Right, my uh, camera's died, so we're, we're trying to do this with a phone, so we'll uh, see how this goes. We've got a customer called, compressor's not working, um, it's three phase, despite it's got a box on the end for single phase electrics to go in, but it's actually a three phase compressor. Um, there's no switches, but we've got a plug, um, round pin plug and socket for the three phase, and we've got another one for the control circuit, so we'll... Uh, We'll plug this in and see what happens. in the overloads apparently, so we'll see what it does. It's in a little wooden shed. Right, we're running, it was running around 9 amps, which is uh, over what it should, should be really. Uh, 7.9 amps on the uh, compressor and the, probably the fan should be a half amp so it's, it's overloading a bit but I suspect it's going on off on the pressure switch I think. What it does is, is it's um, heats up the overloads Dirty condenser, let's click back on. It's probably dirty condenser. I'm not packing my stuff away, we're gonna have a thunderstorm, I think. That whistling is the uh, reed valves in the compressor head letting by. Put a sticker on there for R12, so I don't know, it might even still be running on R12. It's quite an old, old system. I suspect the unit is probably. 30 plus years old and the compressor's a bit newer. It's probably in its 20s. Collection of old style dryers down there. The fan mode is quite old. Get the fan guard took off and then we'll put a bag over the uh, plastic sack over the motor and then we'll wash the condenser out. See how it runs. It doesn't look too dirty, but it is quite a deep coil, um, four rows. So good old press gold. Pretty similar to the Copeland. Compressors, they're more or less interchangeable really. Um, so some of the bolt threads um, are different. Um, a lot of these tend to be a fine thread, and some of the Copelands, of course, um, and uh, some of the angles. The valves come off are slightly different, but you can you can usually make them fit. Guard just lifts off. 
Because the uh, water in the ice builder was at 30 degrees C, um, we drained that out and put some cooler water in about 25, and then to get it cold, we've wound that in. This is designed to run around 0 to minus 10. We'll open that up a bit now. You see the run current come up. We'll see how that runs. Clean the condenser. 